Happy Saturday, everyone. This is Derek the Nitwit. Welcome to any new people that just happen to drop in, and welcome back to all my wonderful subscribers. So I got my dental work done this morning. The only thing left that I would ever that I would need to do anytime soon would be a cleaning, and I'm thinking about going next week to see if they have any openings to get that done. My poor sister, on the other hand, that her screws keep coming loose, and and so of course, when the screws come loose enough, then her implant comes off so i'm starting to think maybe i don't want an implant maybe i just want to go with a bridge but this also i think is the implant not that she got done here but i think that it was one that was done excuse me by a different dentist so um we've got to go monday she's got to go back stop in and have them reseat the appliance and we did do a little bit of yarn shopping yesterday evening. We found one place. Um, I can't remember the name. Moda Telus something. I will post a picture of the receipt that's got the store name on it um, at the end of the video. And it's the video, the, the yarn there was packaged like what we saw at Shed Raleigh's and stuff that was in the plastic bags. So it was kind of interesting because they don't have just the yarn out on shelves like you can um like most places they had a lookbook you just open up they have the, they show all the different colors and styles of yarn and the different sizes and um, and so i'm thinking i'm pretty sure all of the yarn that they were going to have was going to be acrylic so it wasn't somewhere to go for you know like the specialty yarn but i did get some cute colors and i'm looking forward to working with those and I did have to go back to Paracino today. My sister wanted to get a, a small loom, smaller than the one that you would use to make an adult hat. I mean, it would be perfect for, like, you know, a baby hat or, you know, arm warmers or leg warmers. She has a friend down here that has a, a, a lower leg or you know, below the knee amputation. And he wants her to make a stump cover for his leg. And... I mean, basically, she's making a little beanie hat for his leg, and um, he's excited. She's kind of excited, so because I mean, you know, they're, he, she looks out for him, and he looks out for her. So, yeah, I'm I'm glad that she's got someone like that on the island that watches out for her. I did finally get to get my feet in the ocean. We stopped. We went down to Melgar, which is the main tourist drag, and. We, you know, just walked a little ways, found the one spot where they had steps going down where I could go. And it's a pretty rocky beach, but, you know, we had the water shoes on. So, and it was just, you know, nice to be able to get my feet in and get wet. And so, okay, so now I'm, I'm actually here. And um, now the fun thing that's going to happen tomorrow is we um, booked a snorkel tour. And that is the hardest thing to say. It's not like just a private, just the two of us on the tour. There's going to be some other people there, but it's it's the longer tour. They have one that's like two and a half hours and the one that's like four hours. But it goes out into deeper waters. We get to go see some of the reefs. And so I get to see some of the bigger fish. Because last year, most of the, like almost all of the snorkeling I did was just off the beach. So, you know, the big fish don't come, you know, to shore. I mean, they can't fit. So that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that. And so, you know, I'll, so by that point, you know, I'll, you know, of course, you know, when you're snorkeling, you know, you're fully in the water, you know, you're swimming, whatnot. And the neat thing about doing it with the tour as a, um, they provide all the equipment, like the, the snorkel, the mask, the life jacket, they provide drinks, you know, sodas, some beers, you know, stuff like that. Now, my sister's got, you know, she's got flippers and she's got, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. the masks she's got some that are just the regular you know mask that up there and then the snorkel and then she has some that are a full face mask with the snorkel like you like it you can't see me um the full face mask with a snorkel so those i'm not sure if, i'm not sure if i will be able to use those with the the facial fuzz but i could try if not, I can always just use the regular, you know, old school style. 
So I'm looking forward to that when that's at 10 in the morning. So, and now as far as my whips go, I, when I went to the dentist yesterday and today, of course, you know, I don't want to sit there and work on a project where I have to constantly be looking at instructions and worrying about getting lost. So I took my standby blanket. So I'm getting some width to it. I mean, it's about the width of a scarf. It's definitely way more than the length of a scarf. But it's it's nice. I like it. Um, and took that, you know, said yesterday and today. And that's the one that I work, work um, on on the plane. But I also found an amigurumi pattern for a molar tooth. And since I'm so happy with a dentist down here, I am going to try and get two teeth done before I leave, which shouldn't take me that long. Um, I did find a, like I said, the pattern. I'll post a link to that pattern in the description down below. But, you know, I am just got started, so that's all I have. But, um, you know, I don't think it's going to take that long. I will have to go out and get some fiber fill for that and I didn't I didn't think to look for it at um, the fabric store today until we were on our way out of the store and I had a leaking bag of ice in my backpack so I didn't want to spend too much time in there anyway but at some point this week this next week I won't um my sister and I are supposed to take the ferry and go to um across you know across the way go over to Playa del Carmen where there's a Walmart and I just want to see what kind of yarn they have there, but then also, you know, I can look to see if they've got the fiber fill. And if not, I'm sure that there are going to be, um, some, one of the fabric stores here would have it. Even if I just found, like, you know, that fuzzy batting for, like, quilting whatnot, that would even, I could even, you know, kind of shred that up and use that. So... Anyway, I'm doing good. Little Miss is doing good. She is still not eating as much as she would if she were at home, but she is quite active. She was doing the NASCAR zoomies yesterday, and she's getting up and cuddling on the hammock with me, and she's cuddle, you know, she'll cuddle next to me right now. And if you can see her, she's sleeping on the suitcase, my sister's suitcase, um, which... If I keep buying yarn, I may be packing my suitcase inside that suitcase to have room for everything. But I am missing Max. He's at home with David and Chuck and their cats. David said that Max is doing good. He is coming out of the room and eating normally and starting to interact with some of their cats. He, I guess, likes the boy cats, but not so much the girl cats. He's let David pet him a couple times, but he doesn't, you know, he likes being petted, but so far he's not letting them hold him. But, you know, he takes a little bit to warm up to him. David said he was kind of doing little drive-bys on the couch, so he may be in a, he might be ending up in somebody's lap soon. And I told David that if he got out something unsettled on his lap that he was working on, that'd probably attract Max quicker. So, but... I will see him a week from today because I fly home next Saturday. So anyway, I don't want to make this video super long, so and I've got some other video clips to attach to it. So I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Have a great day. Want to guess what I got? Happy Fiesta in 2017. And I know that's... El Gato is the cat because when I was in like third grade, that was my nickname. Yes, El Gato. Estambre, I'm not sure. Google Translate says it's the stamen. Um, someone that we hung out with tonight said that's like the cat fur, the cat hair, the cat, the hairball of the cat, something like that. Anyway, this is what I got. This is some of that um, yarn like we saw at Shed Raleigh's. Um, they had a, I'm going to guess this is probably closer to like a size 5. Um, let's see if it even says it. Hand wash in lukewarm water, dry clean, don't dry clean, mild soap. Dry in the shade. 80% acrylic high bulk, 20% nylon. So, hook. Four to four and a half to a five. 
I'm, I don't think that's our normal, like the U.S. size 5, because um, I know, because sometimes I know that the, you'll see like two different numbers that are different numbers for the same knitting needle, and I think, because our U.S. 4s are kind of small, but who knows, I'll play around with it. But I've got two of the blue, and it's, it's not super soft, but it's not like rough. And it looks like it's just the three threads woven together. So they got two of that color. And they're each 50 grams. And there's Little Miss. And we got the purple and black. We got two of those. And two of the gray and black. And these are all the same size. They had some that were a smaller size that I would have called like a size four. But um, I like these better. I don't have as many of the, the bigger yarns, kind of the bulkier yarns. So I would want to play with these. And then we have the pinks. I have two shades of pink and a white in there. So there's that. Just got done with the dentist. My nose is still numb. It's not bad. They were good. They did four, well, they did all the fillings, but it was four different, all four quadrants got teeth. But that is the name of the dentist. If you're ever in Cosmo, come check them out. I think I finally made it in the ocean. We've got a pirate ship. And a speed speedboat. Ferry. More boats and whatever that is. <laughs> 